Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied how to display character on dot matrix display. In today video I will show you how to display character on dot matrix display using array. In the last project, we sent data one by one and show reset on dot matrix display. That was not very efficient technique. Using array in very efficient technique. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G and click on the bell icon. Project How to Display Character on Dot Matrix Display. In this project, we will interface the dot matrix display with PIC 16 F877 microcontroller. Rows are connected with port C and columns are connected with port D of a PIC 16 F877 microcontroller and the microcontroller is operated from an 8 MHz crystal. We are using ULN2803 IC with rows, because microcontroller cannot provide enough current for operating 64 LEDs of dot matrix display. Here is the circuit diagram we are using in our project. It is PIC 16 F877 microcontroller. Pin number 1 is master reset. If we press the switch it will reset the microcontroller. Port C is interfaced with dot matrix displays rows through ULN2803 IC because microcontroller cannot provide enough current for operating 64 LEDs. Port D is interfaced with dot matrix displays columns through current limiting resistors. And the value of resistor are 100 ohm. Pin numbers 13 and 14 are the interface with an 8 MHz crystal and 22 PF capacitors are connected with the crystal. Here is dot matrix display. We are using 8x8 dot matrix display. Pin number 11 and 32 are connected with positive 5 volts. Pin number 12 and 31 are connected with ground volt. Let draw this circuit in Proteus.
I used these pull-up resistors, because in Proteus ULN2803 was not working without these resistor. But in practical you don't need these pull-up resistors. The circuit is ready now we will write its code in micro CPIC. Here is the window where we can write the code. I already wrote the code otherwise video gets very long. I will copy the code. And I will pass it here. Now I will define you the code. Hashtag define row port C. Define port C as row. Rows are connected with port C. Hashtag define col port D. Define port D as col. Columns are connected with port D. Unsigned char. Row data 8. This line defined data type character array named row data and it has total 8 elements. 0x00, 0xff, 0x91, 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 0x60, 0x00, 0x00. That is code for alphabetic character B. Unsigned char. COL data 8. This line defined data type character array named COL data and it has total 8 elements. 0x80, 0x40, 0x20, 0x10, 0x08, 0x04, 0x02, 0x01. Unsigned char. R data, C data. Define variable. Void ms delay. Unsigned char. Time. Here is function of delay with variable name time. Unsigned char. Y, Z. Define variable named Y and Z. For loop. Y equals 0. Y less than time. And increment Y. For loop for delay. Z equals 0. Z less than 50. And increment Z. For loop for delay. Void main. Main function. Main code start from here. TRISC equals 0x00. Set port C as output port. TRISD equals 0x00. Set port D as output port. R data equals 0. Assigned initial value to variable R data. C data equals 0. Assigned initial value to variable C data. While 1. Endless loop. It will repeat code again and again. COL equals COL data. C data. This line find the COL data from array and send that code to COL. COL is interfaced with dot matrixes columns. The initial value of C data is 0. So array send first code to COL. Row equals row data. R data. This line find the row data from array and send that code to row. Row is interfaced with dot matrix as rows. The initial value of R data is 0. So array send first code to row. MS delay. 10. Call delay. R data. Plus. Plus. Increment R data. Now the value of R data is 1. C data plus plus increment C data. Now the value of C data is 1. If R data equals equals 9 R data equals 0. If C data equals equals 9 C data equals 0. It will repeat the code. Next cycle. COL equals COL data. C data. This line find the COL data from array and send that code to COL. Now the value of C data is 1. Because in first cycle we increased the value of C data. So array send second code to COL. 
Row equals row data. R data. This line find the row data from array and send that data to row. Now the value of R data is 1. Because in first cycle we increased the value of C data. So array send second code to row. And again call. MS delay. Increment R data. Now the value of R data is 2. Increment C data. Now the value of C data is 2. If R data equals equals 9 R data equals 0. If C data equals equals 9 C data equals 0. Next cycle. Now the value of C data is 2. This line again find the COL data from array and send that code to COL. The value of R data is also 2. This line find the row data from array and send that data to row. And again call. MS delay. Increment R data. Increment C data. If R data and C data reach to 9. R data equals 0. C data equals 0. This process repeat again and again and complete character will show on dot matrix display. So the eye cannot tell that the LEDs are not on all the time. And. Now we will create the hex file. Just click on the build icon. Finished successfully. File is created now we will load hex file into the microcontroller. Double click on the microcontroller. Select the hex file. OK. And click on the run simulation. You can see dot matrix display show complete character on it. If you have any problem with the code let me know in comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And keep watching Star Technology 5G.